This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Floors, sloping floors. We're going to pick up from 1102. Okay, we're going to save as, call that 1103. Begin. complete. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to talk about sloped floors. Let's go down to our existing and we're going to go to a 3D view show complete. 3D show complete. Just spin this around. Okay, let's click on floor and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a little patio right here. Okay, so top of foundation wall, we're going to go down from the foundation wall by six inches. Okay, and then we're going to draw something like that as our floor, and why not? Okay, so we'll just say OK to that. We'll say no to this attaching. Generally, you say no to that because then it would lower that foundation wall down. We don't want that. Let's just spin this around and see what we've got. Okay, so maybe we'll just go down a little bit farther. So I'm going to click on that. And let's put it down 10 inches. See if that puts us down too far. You know, that's almost perfect. Let's just click on it and put it up to 8. So negative 8 inches. There we go. Now let's click on this. We're going to edit the type, duplicate it, and we'll just call this one Patio 1. Structure, edit it. I'm going to leave the thickness at a foot. Okay, so let's click on the material. Okay, so what we're going to do is under material, maybe pick something like site to start with. And we'll say site asphalt. And then we'll say duplicate. And we'll just call this one site pavers one. And now what we're going to do is just click on appearance. And we're going to get into this. We can either search or we can go down here through the Autodesk library. So that's loaded in on installation. We're going to go down to site work. And there should be a number of them in here that we can use. So there's cobblestone, multicolor, faded, blazed, multicolor, chain link fences, grass, lots of different types of grass. That's great. You know, pavers, interlocking. You know, go with something like that to start. Okay, if we could find a PAT file to suit that as well, we could load it in. If we just click on it, we really are limited. I mean, this is all we have. So I think what we'll do is we'll just leave off any hatch for now. We've got Site Pavers 1, and Use Render Appearance for Shading is set to gray. Good. And the thickness, we're going to leave that at one foot thick for now. So we're going to slope this. How do you slope it? Well, you can click on the floor. You can click on this tool right here called Modify Sub Elements. When you click on that tool, you're able to click on either a line, which is an edge, or a point. So I could say, you know what, I want the whole thing just to slope to this side, and I'll say negative six inches. So when I hit escape, I'm out of that command, but you'll notice if I just click on that and move around a little bit, that it's actually sloping down to that point. It's taking the whole floor and twisting it. Now that could be what you want, but maybe not. Maybe you want the bottom to be flat. So let's click on this floor and let's click on edit type, structure, edit. And it's just one checkbox, this right here. So what you're saying is the one foot thickness, that's as thin as it can get. And it's variable. So I can actually alter that thickness by using this modify sub elements tool down to as little as, let's say, one inch or half an inch. Once you go down to zero, it has to be anywhere between like one inch or half inch and one foot, but it's variable. Let's just say, okay, its result is a flat bottom and then a sloped top. So I can click on this. I can say modify sub elements and you know, I could go eight inches, no problem. Now it looks like we've got a little bit of sight poking through there. 
that's something that we could adjust on the grading. But I'm going to just click on this, say, modify sub elements. Let's just put that at negative six inches again. Now, let's tag this. So I'm going to go up to top of foundation wall, phase one. That's fine. So now we can see the floor. Let's go to annotate. Let's go to spot slope. And let's just hover over here. Now notice it's reading the slope and it's showing me where that slope is going. Now I'm just going to look and see what we've got for spot slopes. We don't really have much in the way of spot slopes. Let's just add that one, hit escape twice, click on it, edit type, duplicate. We did this when we did our site, but I'm just going to do it again here. So we've duplicated it called slope 2. We're going to change the units format to a percentage to two decimal places, and then we're going to put the unit symbol for percentage in there and just say OK and OK. So it's a 2.42% grade. So let's save that and shut that down.